interesting stuff. Closer to home now, and it's usually winter when you find yourself stuck indoors, keeping the elements at bay, when you notice that your decor might be getting just a little bit tired. Well, we've got just the thing to help you tackle the problem. When it comes to decorating my house, I literally want to run the other way. One has to have a certain feel for color, texture, scale, and composition, and let's just say, I received other talents. With Cape Town being appointed the world design capital for 2014, there are loads of interior designers and consultants to jump in and spruce up your crib. Technology is also not lagging behind these days, and one can get inspiration from blogs, online catalogs and magazines, as well as your smartphone and tablet. So let's take them out and have a look at a couple of applications that are making waves in the design world. First up, we have Snapshop Showroom. With this app, you can visualize furniture in your house through the use of your phone or iPad. You can browse your favorite brands and then place the products in photos using augmented reality. After you've chosen a couch, you can rotate, resize and choose the color. You can then save it to an album, email it to friends or upload it to Facebook to get their opinions. Although the app is free, it is unfortunately only available for Apple users. Then there's the Plascon Inspire Me application. It is also available on five mobile operating systems, iOS, Android, BlackBerry, Symbian 3 and Mego with the Windows 7 phone application currently in development. And yes, it's also Mahala. Renier, I've heard a number of interesting things about this application, but if you had to explain it to somebody that's never heard anything, what exactly is it? Well, the idea is basically to allow people to walk around with their mobile devices and whenever they get inspired by a colour that they see in nature or wherever they are, they can simply whip out their phone, use the application and identify the specific glass on paint colour using it. Where did the idea originate from? Well, a few years ago we realised that one of my friends keeps dressing like an idiot and um, we basically figured out that he was colour blind. So we got a few engineers around the table and quickly realized that we could build an application that um, allows you to identify colors, which helped him not only dress better, but it gave us the idea to actually approach Plascon and um, you know, turn this into something commercial which, which could be useful for consumers. Now, how many colors are there exactly, give or take? We've included all the Plascon colors, um, which is roughly about 16,000 colors. Would you mind giving us a bit of a demonstration? Sure. So what I've got here is a Nokia device. Um, I simply go into the application and say I want to use the camera. Now if I would like to identify this lovely orange colour over here, I just go over it and I take a picture. Then it's going to ask me to resize and um, calibrate the image. I'm happy with it. And then I simply tap on the screen to identify the colour. Now I can tap on it, I can see the entire palette. I can go to adjacent colours, which shows the colours next to each other. You see, that's quite a nice match. And I could go into complementary colours as well, which shows colours that go nicely together. And then I could save them to my favourites if I would like to purchase them at a later stage. So no more walking around in the store with colour palettes? No more taking weird objects to the stores, yes, that's right. Pretty nifty, don't you think? So the next time I have to think about the colours of my walls or the chair that I need in my study, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out the old smartphone and press a couple of buttons.